Things are going from bad to worse for Diddy as a slew of shocking allegations have come to light. So what's the story so far behind this industry icon's fall from grace? Sean Diddy Combs has left an indelible mark on the R&B industry. However, like many artists, he's had to navigate a scandal or two, some more controversial than others. Longtime fans will remember the New York club shooting of 1999 in which Diddy was involved. He was never convicted, but Natalia Rubin, one of the people shot that night, came forward in February 2024 to make a shocking allegation that Diddy was the person who shot her in the face, rather than his fellow rapper Jamal Shine Barrow, who ended up serving a 10-year prison sentence for the crime. Rubin claimed that even though she had told authorities that Diddy was the one who shot her, he'd managed to get out of the whole predicament by bribing witnesses. As 2024 drew on, however, Diddy found himself at the center of several sexual misconduct allegations, which first started coming to light in November 2023. While he's denied any wrongdoing, two mansions connected to Diddy were searched by federal agents from Homeland Security Investigations in March 2024. A source told NBC News that the raids were related to ongoing investigations against Diddy for alleged sexual assault, sex trafficking, and the solicitation and distribution of illegal narcotics and firearms. They are conducting what they're, they're deeming law enforcement action, which could uh, indicate uh, search warrants being conducted. Diddy's legal troubles began when his ex-girlfriend, singer Cassandra Ventura, known mononymously as Cassie, accused him of abusing and raping her while they were in a relationship. Her lawsuit paints a very dark picture, claiming that she was the victim of sex trafficking during her decade-long relationship with Diddy. She alleged that after she was signed to Diddy's record label at the age of 19, the rapper started to pursue her romantically. He went as far as to show up to her 21st birthday party uninvited, where he kissed her without her consent. Cassie said she felt trapped because Diddy held the keys to her success. Her lawsuit described Diddy as a vicious, cruel, and controlling man who asserted complete control over Ms. Ventura's personal and professional life. Cassie also accused Diddy of sex trafficking. She alleged that she was forced to, quote, engage in sex acts with male sex workers and that she was provided with drugs to disassociate during these horrific encounters. Cassie also accused Diddy of beating her so badly that she had to hide away in hotels in order to heal. Cassie ended up accepting a settlement offer from Diddy just one day after filing her lawsuit. Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy triggered a slew of other allegations from women who said the rapper had committed similar crimes against them. Joy Dickerson Neal's lawsuit came shortly after Diddy settled with Cassie, plunging the rapper into yet another controversial news cycle. If you include not only Sean Diddy Combs, but his associates, this is actually the third lawsuit in as much time levied against Combs and his inner circle. Dickerson Neal accused Diddy of abusing, sexually assaulting, and drugging her. She had been introduced to the rapper by some of her friends and eventually made an appearance in one of his music videos. While she was a student at Syracuse University in 1991, Diddy asked her to dinner. Dickerson Neal claimed that she wasn't really interested because she had heard whispers about his reputation with women, but reluctantly agreed. Dickerson Neal claimed that Diddy drugged and sexually assaulted her. He allegedly filmed their sexual encounter and spread it among his industry friends. Diddy's spokesperson released a statement to TMZ denying the allegations, saying, Ms. Dickerson's 32-year-old story is made up and not credible. This is purely a money grab and nothing more. The same day Joy Dickerson Neal filed her lawsuit against Diddy, another lawsuit was brought against the rapper by Liza Gardner. Gardner accused Diddy of sexually abusing her and a friend in the early 90s when she was just 16 years old. She also claimed that after the rapper abused both girls, he let fellow musician Aaron Hall do the same. The lawsuit claimed that Diddy was worried Gardner's friend, who isn't named in the lawsuit, would tell his then-girlfriend what happened that night, so he paid Gardner a visit to speak with her friend. The interaction turned violent with Diddy allegedly proceeding to choke Gardner until she lost consciousness. Diddy's team told People magazine the allegations were false, giving an almost identical statement to People as they had to TMZ in response to Dickerson Neal's lawsuit. It read, These are fabricated claims falsely alleging misconduct from over 30 years ago and filed at the last minute. This is nothing but a money grab. 
For all Diddy's denials, the lawsuits against the rapper kept mounting. The fourth lawsuit that was brought against him came in December 2023. It was filed by an unnamed woman who accused the rapper of raping her and then allowing his friends to do the same. Jane Doe, as the woman is referred to in the lawsuit, was only 17 at the time. She claimed to have met Harve Pierre, Diddy's friend and the former president of his record company, in a lounge in Michigan. Pierre convinced Doe to join him on a flight to Diddy's renowned studio, Daddy's House Recording Studio. There, she hung out with Pierre, Diddy, and a third man who was not identified in the lawsuit. After this lawsuit was filed, Diddy finally stopped addressing the public through his spokesperson and took to Instagram to release a statement that doubled down on his claims that he was innocent. He wrote, Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. The new allegations against John Diddy Combs, a music producer, is accusing hip-hop mogul of sexually assaulting him. The fifth lawsuit against Diddy was quite the blow for the rapper, as this time around it was his former producer who filed the suit. Rodney Lil Rod Jones, who worked on Diddy's 2023 Grammy-nominated album, accused Diddy of many of the same things as the other plaintiffs, including assault and sexual harassment. Jones also claimed to be in possession of several videos that prove Diddy and his staff were involved in a slew of illegal activities. In the same lawsuit, Jones said that he'd been tasked with procuring sex workers for Diddy from an unknown establishment in Miami. Once Jones brought the sex workers to Diddy, the rapper would instruct him to engage in sexual acts with them while he watched. The producer's lawsuit is also said to contain photographic proof of Diddy hosting sex workers and underage girls at his establishments. Jones alleged that Diddy intimidated him into doing his bidding and threatened physical violence when he tried to resist his demands. The lawsuit read, in part, Mr. Combs consistently made it clear that he has immense power in the music industry and with law enforcement. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673.